Hi you guys, welcome, my name is PJ if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing some micro links. This hair is from Y Wigs. Get over three bundles of the hair. One length is 16 and two bundles are 18 inches. Um, I might only need to use two bundles really because my hair isn't that long and I'm going for a bob today so I will be cutting it like kind of like a really short bob. I don't really care for the long bobs on me so probably like up here. So this is the package that they send it in. This is what it's going to look like when you receive it. It's really, really thick and it's soft so far. I'm going to send you a package with the pliers and a needle and another loop. So I'm going to let you get a 360 of my hair. So because my hair is so short, I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to be able to pull it up. I'm hoping that I can because my hair has grown out some in the back. But I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm able to pull it up at least on the sides. I'm going to try to anyways because I've never done this before. Now my only concern so far is blending it because they seem to be kind of thick at the tips. So I don't know if my hair will be able to blend with it when it comes to like the top. So I might have to like take some extra time to figure out what I'm going to do. This is the loop you can just put a piece of hair in and pull it through and it'll pull the hair right through and you could just clamp it that way. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do a few rows first and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys in the middle as I keep going along and along. I don't really have a technique right now. So we just gonna go along with what I'm doing. These are some Velcro hair grippers and some clips that I used. And this is my three ray mirror setup. And I also use this stand to help separate the hair. So this is the perimeter of my hair that I left out. It's not much as you can see. And I've already did about three rows. As I was doing this, I only left about two gaps where I didn't put any lengths because I didn't want it too thick. So I made sure that my parts were kind of thin because if you put too much hair in between the lengths, they won't be able to clamp right and it won't get tight enough and they will slip out. I'm not gonna do too much talking throughout this tutorial because the technique is pretty repetitive. You just do the same thing over and over. It did take me all night to put these in. I will say I love how the bead and the hair is already connected together so you don't have to worry about fumbling around with beads and trying to hold that together. Let me know. 
So I got them all in. This is what it's looking like. I did end up removing a row in the back and on the sides and like a few, I want to say about like five at the top because it just was too thick for the style I was going for. So this is the part where I'm flat ironing my leave out. Even though I was able to make it blend, I really truly believe that if I did like a different technique such as the the whiff kind, like the marker link whiff, it will like blend better. I don't like how you can see the metal pieces sometimes. So I feel like the weft, the track piece will be able to cover that up a little better. It, it worked out for the time being, but I feel like it will look seamless if I just did something different around the leave out part. I did go ahead and add a few layers around the top just so it can blend a little better. To me, I feel like the layers helped a lot. And now I'm just doing the same thing in the front. I'm flat ironing it. And then I went ahead and added layers on the side as well. So now I'm just adding a little hairspray and I feel like that helped. When you use hairspray, just make sure that you use one that's like a soft hairspray nothing like got to be glue you don't want your hair to be stiff or nothing like that so like i said in the beginning we are gonna cut it it did look pretty good at this length but i just really wanted my hair to be short and this length was just not giving what i was looking for so i love how full this hair looks and i only have one and a half bundles in and this looks pretty good like i'll make sure that i leave all the hair details down below because this hair was very very easy to work with i feel like anybody can pull this off so i love how my hair turned out i have a few pointers though i had this is the next day or whatever so i went to sleep last night i woke up when i took my scarf off like I feel like I will have to just always keep an eye on my leave out and making sure that you don't see the eye tips. So I really recommend if you was to try this and you have short hair like mine to put the K tips at the top because they're more seamless. See like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but like right here, I feel like I would just have to always put hairspray at the top to make sure that my hair won't move all in all i mean it's still possible to get your hair like this so yeah i would recommend doing eye tips on a pixie cut because i feel like it looks cute now i did try to have leave out on the sides to see if i could pull it up but it didn't work out because my hair is thin on the sides and my hair is very very short in the bag it's like an inch so that's not gonna work. So it's possible to have this style, but you gotta be like realistic about what you can actually do with it. But I really like it. So I'm gonna keep it in for about a good week and just see how it is when I wash it. And I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I think it turned out so cute. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a like and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>